السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear second prep students This is our first lesson with algebra in the second term which is factorize, factorizing quadratic trinomials in the form of x squared plus px plus c To express the meaning of factorize or the word factorization I need to express how can I make multiplying two brackets like x plus 3 and x plus 2. We start with x by x, then x by 2, then 3 times x and 3 by 2. To be in that form, x squared by x, x squared, x by 2, 2x. Two 3 by x, 3x, and 3 by 2 equals 6. And now I have to add or collect the like terms, it will be 5x, and drop x squared and 6. The lesson today, I will give you this trinomial form and I will ask you to bring, to bring this. I will give you that form, I will ask you to bring me that two brackets. Again, the lesson, I will give you that trinomial, I will ask you to bring the two brackets, which are the factors of these trinomials. Let's study the example and see the question. The question, the question says factorize. Factorize what? Factorize x squared plus 7x plus 6. To factorize, that means I have to get the factors of these trinomials. Factors, it means the two brackets which multiply each other give me these trinomials. So first of all, I have to open the two brackets. This is traditional method, open the two brackets. Okay. I have to think about the first number or the first term, which is x squared. What are the two factors gives me x squared? x by x. And I don't have any other factors give me x squared except x by x. Go again for 6, the third term. Think about its factors. 1 times 6 equals 6 and 2 by 3 equals 6. I have here four factors for number six. So, if I'm going to start writing the answer, I will write your x and x, because x squared comes from x by x, so x here and x here. When I'm going to write the factors of six, so which two factors shall I choose? One times six or two times three? Actually, we have to choose one or two factors only of them according to a very tiny thing, which is the sign which is in front of 6 refers to the two numbers, their product 6, their sum, their sum must be equal 7. Again, the two numbers, their product 6, their sum must be equal 7. So, from the factors of 6, what are the two factors, their product 6 and their sum 7? 1 times 6 equals 6. 1 plus 6 equals 7. Yeah, 7. But 2 by 3 equals 6. And 2 plus 3 equals 5. This is not 5. So I have to put here x plus 2 and 3. Or put here 2 and 3. Now what about the sign of the bracket in the first and the second? This sign refers to or guided me to put signs in the two brackets. If the sign is positive, this sign says to me, similar sign in brackets, like the middle sign. So you have to look at the sign or the last sign of the trinomial. If it is positive, you have to put here positive and positive. Now why positive and positive? Because the middle sign is positive. So the sign positive, look at the middle sign. The middle sign is positive, so positive, positive. Okay, if the middle sign is negative, 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 right? Okay. So here, this is the steps written beside the problem. Let's start the number 2 in the example. x power 2 or x square plus 3x negative 18. First, open the two braces like this or two brackets like this. Factorize the first and factorize the last. The first, x square. What are the factors of x square? x by x. Okay. Go back to 18. What are the factors of 18? 1 by 18, 2 by 9, 3 by 6. 
So, shall I put all of them? Of course not. I have to choose two factors only gives me 18. But which two factors of these factors? I have to choose it according to the last sign here, to the last sign. I have 1 by 18, 2 by 9, 3 by 6. All of them gives me 18 in multiplying. 1 by 18, 18, 2 by 9, 18, 3 by 6, 18. But here, the negative sign refers to what? I have to choose two factors of these. The difference between them, 3. The difference between them equals 3. So, 1 by 18, 18. The difference is not 18. The difference is 17. 2 by 9, 18. The difference here, 7. It's not 7. 3 by 6, 18. The difference here, 6 minus 3 equals 3. Right. I will take these two factors in the last of the group. I write your x and x and 3 and 6. What about the sign here? Once that the sign here, the third sign, is negative, that means different signs in the two brackets. Different sign in the two brackets. Why can I put here positive or negative? Or why here negative not positive? I have to put the negative or positive, negative and positive signs, and they must be different signs, and I will take the bigger number, I will take the, bigger, the, the sign of the middle in front of the bigger number. Again, when we have negative sign in front of the last term, or the third term, I have to put positive and negative. But the bigger number of the two factors take the middle sign. And here, 6 and 3. 6 will take the, the sign of the middle term, positive. And the 3 will be negative. Okay? Here, different sign in brackets. The bigger number take the middle sign. Okay? Let's study example 3. In example 3, I have 7x power 3, negative 14x squared, negative 21x. First of all, and before factorizing, number one, I have to make steps. Number one, arrange the terms of expressions descendingly according to the power of x. Number two, take out the highest common factor. If you have, if you don't have, okay, go on, factorize easily. Example number one, I can see 7x power 3, 14x power 2, 21x. I can see x and x and x, and the trinomials rule okay, doesn't put here x. So, I have to take this x as common factor. And look at the coefficient of the numbers. 7, 14, 21, all of them are in table 7. So I can divide here 7 and 7 and 7 from here, or I can divide all the trinomials by 7x. Okay, 7x, open bracket, divide your 7x and 7x and 7x. The answer will be x power 2, negative 2, x and negative 3. Now you have to drop the highest common factor in front of the bracket and this is necessary. This is a very important. You have to drop 7x as it is. Then factorize the bracket here at the traditional way. Open the two brackets. Factorize x squared by x by x. And think about the factors of 3. I don't have any factors except 1 times 3, so it's very easy. Write here 3, write here 1. Okay? Or you can write here 3 and here 1, it's up to you. But take care of the sign. The third sign here is negative. So you have to make different sign in the two brackets. And the bigger number, take the sign of the middle term. The sign of the middle term is negative. So it must be in front of 3 and the positive in front of the smaller number. Okay? Example number two, here we have 8x negative 33 plus x squared. It's very clear that trinomial is not arranged at all. I have to start from the bigger power, then smaller power, then the absolute number without any simple. So the proper form is x squared, plus 8x, negative 33. Now I can factorize it easily. Think about x squared is x times x, yes. Think about 33, what are the factors of 33? First factors, 1 times 33. The second, 3 times 11. 
So which of them I can choose? I can choose that one, the difference, uh, the difference between them, eight. One minus 33 is not eight, of course. Try three and 11. 11 minus 33 equals eight. So I will choose this two factors, the three and 11. I will write here three, 11. Three and 11, 33, positive and negative, because the middle sign is positive, put positive in front of the bigger number. Here, this is a way to factorize in the simplest form a times a and a times seven. To make it in the simplest form, a squared plus seven a plus six, then factorize it easy. Two numbers, their product six, and their sum seven. Their sum seven, so one times x equal, one times six equals six, and their sum seven. I hope you got the lesson, and your homework will be pages in the booklet, page one and two in algebra booklet.